Safety changes on Franklin Street and Chapel Hill appear to be having an impact. Students say more visible police presence has helped with some of the issues, such as aggressive panhandling. WRL's Monica Casey shows us why some say there is still more to be done. Police tell me assaults in downtown Chapel Hill have decreased while reports of larceny, specifically bicycle thefts, have increased. WRAL has covered safety concerns on the popular Franklin Street for almost a year. Some business owners bought tasers and body worn cameras to keep themselves and employees safe. Students tell me they are on alert when they're downtown. I make sure that I'm always either on the phone with somebody or have somebody with me that I like trust. But yeah, it's <laughs> I don't really feel the safest, especially during nighttime. UNC sophomore Aubrey Carson works on Franklin Street, she tells me she sees the positive changes. I've definitely noticed a lot more like of police around and um, not really just like police cars, but a lot of like police officers walking around and like checking in on people, which has definitely been a positive sign for me. Sophomore Jake Prater also works in the area. Come here for food, work, and all that. He also notices the visible presence. I definitely see our local police officers come in and they talk to me a lot. They try, it kind of looks like they're trying to get more involved in the community, which definitely makes me feel a little bit better. Chapel Hill Police's crisis unit conducts proactive outreach in the area. The town's clean and green team also launched last week. That group of employees can give directions, clean up trash, and monitor the area for any issues. UNC is also part of the safety push. The university hired a consultant to evaluate campus needs for security, such as lighting and cameras. In Chapel Hill, Monica Casey, WRL News. UNC tells WRL it is in an early stage of evaluating safety needs and will be engaging with people who care about this moving forward.